Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. It's something that Google initiated back in Android 5 to where when you factory reset an Android device without first taking off the Google Account Lock, or the Google account, it's the device is then going to be locked after the reset and it's going to ask you to sign back in with the previous account that was on it. Now here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy J3 Achieve, and this is a device that is originally from Sprint here in the US and was also sold by their subsidiaries and partners such as Boost and Virgin Mobile. And this is a device, as we can see, it does have the Google account lock enabled because it tells us that it was reset and to continue, we have to sign in with an account that was previously on the device. And that's the key here because you have to sign in with the last account that was on it. It will not let you just sign in with any Google account. So we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us to assist them with this specific issue on this exact model, usually either because they themselves got locked out of their own device accidentally and couldn't remember or couldn't recover their login information, or because they were sold the device by a dishonest seller who didn't tell them that the lock was enabled, and then obviously after the purchase, the buyer found the lock and didn't have the previous uh, accounts login info and the seller had long since disappeared. It's a pretty common scam that unfortunately happens these days in the buying and selling of mobile devices. So we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a service to be able to get this specific lock removed from this specific model. And that's actually something that we're doing exactly here right now while the device is plugged in. This is something that we can do for just about anyone anywhere in the world. So the good thing about this is that you don't necessarily need to be located here in our local area in order for us to be able to do this for you. You just need to have a decently powerful Windows computer along with a fast internet connection and we can remotely connect directly to your computer through the internet and perform the exact same procedure that we just did here right now. We had already done 90% of the work before making the video just so we can keep this nice and short and sweet. So obviously you saw that the device was on the uh, Google lock screen there and then all we did was one restart to the device and now we should be able to see that as we go through the setup process we can indeed get all the way through that without running into that Google account lock. Hold on here while it finishes rebooting and then we will start going through here step by step. Okay, so we're going to hit start and we don't need Wi-Fi, so then we're just going to skip that. And next we have to agree to the terms and conditions, so we are going to do that. And then we do not need to activate the device, so we are going to skip out of that. And the next is going to take us to the name screen. We don't need to put a name in, so we're just going to skip it and keep going. We don't need a screen lock. And these are very good signs here because previously we could never get to any of these options because we would have already seen the Google account lock by now. So that is a very good sign that it has indeed been successfully removed. After a couple more steps there, we should be all set. Yep, there we are. So we've got the home screen loading up here. We have now have full access to all of the apps and settings and features, and this is just like a brand new device that never had the lock on there. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings to show you exactly what we are working with. So under the About Phone section, we can indeed see that we have a Galaxy J3 Achieve, and then that model number there, the J337P, that is what uniquely identifies it as a device that is originally from Sprint and their subsidiaries if my focus will cooperate there for us. There we go. Okay, so the lock has been fully removed and this is device is fully usable again, just as before. So if you have a Galaxy J3 Achieve and need help getting the Google lock removed from it, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy someday.
Make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there also to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding and putting up, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.